For anyone who has a lot of content and ideas they want to organize, publish, and reuse, this showcase is for you. Amy Scott offers possible solutions for how to organize it all, including interesting and helpful ways to use Obsidian with simple data view queries, transclusions, and the Kanban plugin. Amy has spent the past 16 years traveling the world and living abroad while running multiple businesses. She has helped entrepreneurs, freelancers, and remote workers build their own version of Nomadtopia, also known as having a location-independent lifestyle. Amy is the founder of Nomadtopia, the business in which clients and colleagues call her the queen of location independence. As a longtime podcast host, course creator, community leader, and online marketer, Amy has plenty of existing content and new ideas and a lot of moving parts to keep track of. She came to the Linking Your Thinking workshop looking for ways to better manage it all. And in the following showcase, Amy outlines some of the ways she's using Obsidian to track content use and reuse to get the most out of everything she creates. Let's join Amy now. So I came into this um, workshop really wanting to get organized with my, uh, with well, with lots of things, but one of them is this business I have called Nomadtopia, where there is, there are a lot of moving parts. There's a lot, I have a ton of ideas. There's a lot of content flying around. Um, I've been doing this for 10 years. So I've got 10 years of content and podcasts and courses and workshops and, you know, creating new stuff all the time. So this is part of what I wanted to build here that I could actually resource and pull from all of those things and stay organized and actually reuse some things also. So I'm going to show a couple different pieces here and I have these highlighted just so I would remember what I wanted to show you. Um, this is my marketing MOC and um, this, I think actually, let me jump down here first. So I'm using data view to just pull in things that I've tagged. So this is everything that's tagged with the marketing um, idea. And I noticed too, that because I have the, I'm not sure it's called preview hover or whatever is turned on. So even these that are just daily notes, if I hover over it, I can scroll through here and find, this is a terribly long daily note, but um, you know, somewhere in there is the part of, with the idea for marketing. So I can find that fairly easily. These are ideas I just dumped in here from another note making app. Um, but it's helpful to know I now have a place I can find everything and I know where to put things. This I'm super excited about because I think for a long time I was struggling with, you know, like using spreadsheets or something as a way to kind of keep track of where things were in the pipeline um, in terms of creating content, but then also the writing was happening somewhere else. So I've been doing this for the last few months and I'm really psyched to have a place where all of these things can live together. Um, just in the last few days, I've started to kind of fall out of favor with this idea of putting the date at the beginning of the title. My idea was then at a glance, I could see what had been published. Um, but I don't know if that really needs to be at the forefront. And then also, um, as Nick talks about the you know proximity thing, these all show up next to each other in the Explorer, which maybe is good, maybe is not good. I don't know. Um, one thing that I wanted to share because I noticed some people have been using Kanban's to, you know, like organize where content is in a workflow. And that's definitely something I've been thinking about, but this is something I'm playing around with. Have not gotten very far, but I wanted to share in case anyone else was interested in this or maybe has ideas about what to do with it. There is a piece of software called Air or like an app or whatever called Air Story, which a lot of content marketers have been really excited about in the last few years. And it basically, you can create a library of content blocks. So you'd have, you know, things you've written before, you can pull excerpts from blog posts, from things you read online, whatever. And then you'd be able to drag and drop those into a document essentially. And so I thought, well, since this is where all my content is, what can I make something like that here? So if you do like a transclusion kind of thing, and I know I have a couple other notes on connection, and then you do shift six, which I just learned the other day from watching one of Nick's videos. Um, and then I can just hit enter. And now this block shows up and maybe, oh, let's see, maybe I would put that at the top of this article or, you know, and then I can link out here to this quote is from Power Virtual. So that's about as far as I've gotten with this, but I feel like there's some potential here. And um, as you'll see, as I get into some other parts, I'm really interested in 
seeing how I can, you know, repurpose and use things that I already have. So I'm going to go back here. Um, I have a whole separate MOC for my podcast, just because that's, you know, something that has a lot of its own moving parts. And I can see at a glance kind of where things are at. I've got links to where I, these things live elsewhere. And then I, this is transcluded in here, a separate note, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way, but basically this is where I'm tracking, you know, what I'm working on with the podcast. From here, I'm going to jump over to um, the collective MOC, the Nomadtopia Collective. Actually, it's funny, Jonathan has collective in the name of his project also. Um, the Nomadtopia Collective is my online community for nomads and expats. And so there's a lot of moving pieces here as well. And I'm going to show you a couple. One, so I have kind of a similar, you know, list of pulling and ideas down here. For a long time, I've struggled with how to keep track of, you know, articles and things that I'd like to share with the community. So this is something I'm playing around with is pulling in this, I created as a separate note and then tagged it to share in the collective. And then this is the date the note was created because sometimes things are really timely. This one, not so much, but you know, if I don't share it within the next week or something, not really any point. So this I'm hoping will help me stay better um, you know, tracking what um, I've been pulling together and whether it's been shared and so on. Here, there's two other little pieces here I want to share. This is the, um, we do monthly themes in the collective and so kind of, you know, guiding the conversation uh, throughout the month. And now that I'm, I've spent a lot the last week learning a lot about data view and playing with it. And now that I'm aware of that more, I'm thinking there might be a way to kind of flip this around. I basically was creating the notes here um, and, and, you know, doing that kind of manually, there might be something I can do differently, but then I have a template that I use to, you know, plan for the next, uh, the next theme. And, um, then again, I hope that then there's stuff here that I can reuse, maybe even reuse the whole theme again, or, you know, play on some variation of it. Then this is the last thing that, um, I have a ton of courses. Well, I have courses that I've created in the past and I'm now pulling a lot of that content into new kind of mini courses that are gonna live in my community and be available just for members. And so there's a lot of repurposing going on and I'm trying to figure out how to keep track of it all. For now, what I'm psyched about is one, having again, a data view thing down here to track kind of where things are at. And then I created a note for each course. Um, and this is just here again, so I remember, that's the one I want to show you. I just created this, um, and this is going to be a template, or it is a template also. This is a course I'm working on right now, and I want to keep track where this came from, you know, in terms of repurposing. This came from another course I did, and I actually just shared this in today's newsletter, a little piece of this, so I can see that right here at a glance. And then here's, this is the actual course content. And I created a separate note for each lesson. And then I have those transcluded in here. And Ellen was just talking about admonition blocks. And I was like, wait, what's that? So I don't know if that's something that could be useful here, but that definitely caught my attention since I've created these kinds of blocks. Um, but what I love is that, you know, in the course platform that I use, and I think in a, a lot of the ones that are out there, you know, everything's broken up into like, you can see one section or one lesson at a time. And this way I can see all of it in one place, but also be able to just click into one other thing. And then who knows, maybe this, you know, becomes a blog post or something. And so there's lots of ways that I can see approaching things from different angles. Um, and yeah, I have lost track of time. So I think I'm going to stop there. As someone who also has a ton of ideas and content new and old, I really get a lot out of seeing Amy talk through her process of managing content. Hopefully this showcase gave you some inspiration on how you can manage all of your content. What is something positive you took away from watching this showcase? Let us know in the comments below. Amy's showcase is the 11th showcase I've been able to share out of well over 100 from the Linking Your Thinking workshops. There are so many more people I hope to share with you because they show how personal the process of personal knowledge management can be. Thanks for tuning into this showcase and until next time, stay connected.